And six years ago, when I was 43 years old, I broke my ankle. My ankle broke to the outside and then completely flipped around. So my foot was actually backwards. It was seven screws on this side. And then I had two very, very long screws um, on the inside of my ankle here. Now, even if you haven't had an ankle injury, it is good always trying to work on improving range of motion as well as strength and control in your ankles. And these are four things that can help you no matter the state of your ankle. Okay, so the first movement that we're gonna be looking at is simply where we're going to curl our toes and perform circles. We really wanna focus just on the ankle. And so what I suggest is to get into a comfortable position. You could even sit in a chair, on the sofa, basically somewhere where you're comfortable. Now, in order to keep the focus on the ankle, what I like to do is, is hold my leg and my knee tightly here so that I am not moving the hip when I'm performing this. Again, I want the focus to be all in the ankle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna curl our toes, not so much though that it's uncomfortable and we don't want it to cramp. Performing these and it starts to cramp, just relax your toes, take a little break and then you can come back to it. So again, I'm holding my leg here, I'm going to curl my toes and I'm simply going to focus on making circles. Now, the range of motion that you have might be less than what I'm showing you here. And that's perfectly fine. Just work where you are. With practice and consistency, the range of motion will increase. Now, I suggest performing maybe 15 to 20 repetitions in one direction, and then you can switch directions. You can perform two to three rounds of this. Next up, I like to go from pointing my toes, making the foot straight here, to flexing it and pulling my toes back towards my shin. There's two ways that I do this. The first one is where when I point my toes here, I'm actually pulling the toes back. Okay. As I flex the foot here, I bend my toes. The focus here is on the toes, so curl, and then pulling back, curl and pulling back by going from this flexion and extension here. 10 to 15 repetitions of this, and then I switch it. And so what I'm doing now is rather than pulling the toes back when I'm extending the foot in this position, I actually curl the toes. And then when I pull the foot back, I pull the toes back as well. All right, next is something, I absolutely love this. This is probably, for me at least, um, the one thing that just makes my ankle feel better and I try to do this pretty much every single day. And what that is, is I'm rolling up onto my toes. And there's different positions that you can do and use. Uh, I'm going to show a couple. I'm going to show where I'm in this kneeling position first because this might actually be the easiest way to get into it. But I actually typically go from a squat. I'll show that in a second. So in this position, you can use your hands as training wheels in order to adjust the load and how much pressure that you place on your foot here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just bringing my knee past my toes here, loading the structure, and then I roll up onto my toes. And so I'm using my hands here, as you notice, as training wheels that, as I mentioned, you can adjust the amount of pressure you're placing on your foot as you go in and out of this position. And so gradually working on getting better at, I should say better, feeling more comfortable, improving that range of motion and balance as well in the foot as well as the ankle when you're performing this. So this is how you can do this from this modified lunge position. Now, as I mentioned, I like to do it from the squat and I'll just go back and forth. Also, I'll make sure that you do both sides in all the exercises that I'm showing you. But what I'll do is I'll just get in my squat position here and I'll have my feet turned out just slightly and then I'll load this and I'll just go side to side. Now, of course, you do need to have a decent squat to do this, but you can still use your hands as training wheels of sorts in order to perform this movement if you need to. And this really is a good place for me to be able to assess how my ankle is doing that day. If it's feeling quite tight that day, then I'll spend a little extra time giving it some love. Now the final thing that I always like to add in here is the bear. This is a great stretch for the Achilles tendon, calf, as well as further improving the range of motion 
and my ankles. We're going to start off here just in the A-frame position. So I'll start off with shoulders over the hands, hips over the knees. Just simply push my butt up into the air. And then I'm just going to start walking. Now when I'm doing this, the focus when I'm looking at the ankles is to try and push the heel down into the floor. You might find that you can't get your heel all the way down. It's perfectly fine. Just by actively trying to push the heel down as you're performing the bear walk will help in increasing that range of motion and give you a real nice good stretch all the way from the heel, even up to the butt. Continue moving forward here. Really trying to actively draw, and I should say push the heel into the floor here as you're moving forward. That is the bear walk.